Hello friends, I am Jishu Baiju, working as an assistant professor in Biani group of colleges. Um, I would like to take a topic on mental health nursing, uh, including, sorry, I would like to take a topic from mental health nursing that is defense mechanism. Let's start with the introduction. Every individual has a capacity to protect himself to lead a comfortable life. So uh, Sigmund Freud, the father of modern psychiatry, has divided human mi mind has three parts. That is id, ego and super ego. He says that id, which works on the complete principle of reality and ego, Sorry, it works on the complete principle of pleasure, ego which works on the complete principle of reality and superego which works on the complete principle of morality. Ego always balance, make a balance between id and superego. Right? Let's uh, next see about the definition. According to Bhatia and Craig, 1829, uh, he says that every individual has mental capacities or devices to protect himself against anxiety or psychological distress. Again, Zamer 2000, he said that um, defense mechanism is a, a method used by the individual to reduce uh, anxiety or stress to improve self-image. Now, Let's, let's see the characteristics. There are mainly two characteristics about the defense mechanism. It is used by the every individual at a time. Second one, uh, every individual can use many defense mechanism at a time. Now, let's see the purpose. There are few purposes regarding defense mechanism. First one is, it helps to reduce the anxiety. Second, it helps to maintain the harmonious relationship between one and another. Sec third, it in, uh, decreases the psychological, it protect oneself against the psychological devices or distresses. Now it improves self-respect, etc. Now let's see the types. First one is the withdrawal reaction. There are many types in defense mechanism, but I'm going to discuss few of them in this class. Now first one is withdrawal reaction. Withdrawal reaction, if I'll talk about the example, a student who wants to appear in the examination, if she appears and she got failure result, she are again reappearing, instead of again reappearing in the examination, she'll withdraw himself or herself from the examination uh, with the fear of that, if, uh, if she'll again write the examination, she'll get failure marks. She'll, she will withdraw herself or himself from that uh, particular situation. Now second one is the fantasy, which is also known as daydream. Uh, in this condition, person, if they are not achieving any success in their life, they'll start to daydream in the, they'll, uh, they'll start to think as dreaming that they are getting that achievement in a dream, uh, by, uh, by seeing dreams. Now third one is a nomadism. Nomadism, individual will start to uh, neglect or start to hate that places uh, because of some situation, bad situation, bad trouble which could happen to her or his life. So that is nomadism. So next one is a reaction formation. Instead of showing a real reaction, they'll hide himself uh, by, uh, by to maintain that particular situation. Um, now last one is a selecting forgetting. If something bad happened to a person's life, she or he will selectively or forcefully start to forget that situation uh, particular according to that uh, condition. So that is about the types of defense mechanism. Thank you, thank you and thank you.